Guys, I'm just confirming. I left the key on the table. This is my food. It's five. I'm leaving the capital of Buenos Aires. Let me leave one light on. Oh, there's the other one. Oh shit, that's too dark. At least one light on. I left the key. It's time to go. My Uber is two minutes away. Okay. Let me type him, I'm staying. Oh. Uh, it's too dark, but uh, let's go. So I have a bus today, a, a, a bus ride for over 10 hours to the next second biggest city in Argentina. It's called Cordoba. And the journey begins right now, right here. This is now craziest of all travels. Oh, my boots are on. I need to tie the shoes. But I don't want to miss my boots. Time to go. Just like that, I'm outside. Okay, Elia says got it. In two minutes, he's gonna be here. So, just waiting. The funny thing, this bar, which is next door, it never closes. It's 24 hours. People party all the time, every day. I guess when I come back, I will stay around here because this has been one of the best places I stayed. Oh. Let's go. I'm waiting for uh, this Uber. I don't know where it's coming from. It's early in the morning. It's 5.14. I have a bus. This guy is not moving, man. Oh, it says one minute. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oh man, I'm still waiting. Yeah. Okay, it's moving now. So I wanna see drop off because I wanna be there before six. The bus leaves exactly at six. And right now it's 5:15. So plus 30 minutes from here. So at least I have some bonus uh, time. I think that is my Uber right there. Let's see. It looks like a taxi. But let's see if it's the one. It says zero. It's a red car. So it's not that one for sure. Mm. Um, I'm putting my bag. I think it's that car right there. I see it coming. That red car. Yeah, it's right behind there. So it's red here, but it's turning yellow, green. I think he's, I think he can see me. He's right there. Hey! Elias! Okay. Puedo sentar al el frente? This is my mochila aquí. So let me... I just asked him if I can sit in front. That's my bug. Okay, vamos. El centro de autobús. Okay. So yeah, it's just like that to left. Oh. The 
shows shows green there. Here it shows red. Guys, I just arrived at the station. So my Uber driver offered me. He offered me coffee. I don't know if he was just being kind or something else, but I said no. Okay, so now here I just have to ask exactly where my bus is dropping. Otherwise, let me get my. Okay, let me film this once I. Or you want me to get lost with you guys together? I just want to know where my bus is at 6 p.m. Let me ask this guy. This guy could understand. Amigo, buenas? No, sorry, I got to check. Oh, two hours there, okay? Okay. I was asking some, some uh, guy. He tells me it's not from here. But I can actually check. Uh, let me check. Maybe he's very tired. 6 a.m. Center 12. I'm checking uh, my seat. Says okay. I'm gonna get it exactly where it is. I'm gonna get it. It should be actually. I see outside here. It says gates. Okay, I'm checking my gate, but I see right there 40 something So probably it should go that way I See this guy pushing a door here. So Let me go with this door This looks like the door I should be pushing also I remember it was Yeah, yeah, some guys playing some TikTok. So I should keep going that way. My bus leaves at six, so probably it's still a little early. Let me go see if I'll meet some passageros. Passageros. Passageros means uh, passengers. Wow, these birds wake up very early in the morning, man. I've never seen this. Oh, oh, super early. Okay, let's go. I think mine should be 20 something. Actually, they wrote me yesterday. Let me check. Um, 10 to 28. 10 to 28. I see 28 is right here. So, all this place, I should be here and see. But I need to go to the bathroom actually for sure. 10 to 28. So guys, I think that is our bus right there. Uh, it lives exactly at 6. So thank God, actually, I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> and I put like seven alarms to wake me up just in case. I think this could be our bus. I see another one coming. Hey, looks super classic. Man, I've traveled with many different buses, but I guess there's nothing like Laos because... Let's see. 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 let Let's wait and see. Number four, number twelve is my seat number. Looks like I'm moving, bro. So how do you check the number here? Oh, 12, seven. So, so I think my seat should be this one here. V. V means ventana. So right here 
I had I got one of the best chairs actually with the table feels like first class bro so that means the lady who did the booking for me did a good job so I think even I'll sleep here today because I didn't sleep last night for sure you see I have a table I can put some water this is my only bag and just like that bro actually this is one of the best chairs look they have something else here to put legs wow bro okay but for now i don't know if i should put my bag right here let me see what to do but you see more people are coming this bus takes over 11 hours let me try to adjust the chair before my neighbor comes because if he comes and finds if the neighbor comes and finds the chair like that oh, oh wow oh sorry actually my neighbor is right there <laughs> i have to return my chair quickly but actually this chair is very flexible bro do you see that my neighbor is around i don't want to be an yeah what time is it right now let me tell you the time 5:52. the bus is supposed to leave at uh, exactly six let's see let me have my ticket oh that is actually buying oh i see that's how the bus looks like guys i don't know if you see that and People are still coming inside slowly, slowly. More kids struggling. <sighs> I slept only one hour. I am very lucky to have found this chair, man. This is the best. This one, I'll, I'll just chill here and sleep like a goat. Six or three, the bus leaves. Just like that the bus leaves as also Maro leaves Buenos Aires for unknown let's go see El Tourista Tourista El Tourista means the tourist that's Maro himself I don't think I'm a tourist I think I'm I'm a traveler that's one thing you have to correct tourist you want good things good stuff happening to you but a traveler you just want to experience no matter what comes on your way you're ready for a 10 hour bus like this today just to experience some crazy i decided to take this bus a ride actually during the day so i can see argentina otherwise flying from one place to another is just seeing the cities you actually don't see the interior part of the country that's why I decided to take this bus. It's kind of half empty. See, that's how it looks like. So, let's go. 10 to 11 hours. Actually, we arrive 5, I don't know, 5.45. Yeah. And we left at 6. One way. Two. Guys, we're on the way. Um, I just woke up. I was sleeping. And I'm seeing the guy trying to create this place. Looks like it was an abandoned house. Now they're cleaning it up. This is a small town, it's called Rosario, 
is it Rosario or Rosaria? I'm told it's a very good town, but it's dangerous. They say like that. So I don't know why. But uh, let's see. So I'll not get off here. I'm still on an 11 hour tour. Oh. Reminds me of towns in Colombia. It looks like Mary Jean. Look at the houses. Huge farmland. We have super huge farmland here. They farm maize. Guys, the journey is still on. Just gonna sleep a little bit. We were in a bus station here. More people came in. These are how bus stations look like here in Argentina. So just a building and bus stop. It's a very nice place. I saw this similar in Mexico. It's, it's three, three and a half. We're still moving through the fields of Argentina or Argentina. Hmm, the maze here looks small. Like, I don't know, it's the weather. It looks super tiny. It's like sticks. Or maybe it's harvest season. These people farm. I've been traveling like, this is like 10 hours now. I think we have one hour or more to go but I was very very lucky to get this place it's very comfortable look from here I can rest yeah. wow. I was super lucky even this chair is very adjustable so I just booked my Airbnb place let's go to Cordoba this is the second biggest city and um, I'm excited to go there with you guys I really wanted to travel Argentina like this like a boss some of the most memorable bus tours are in Southeast Asia and India I did crazy bus tours man especially trips uh, like the one I went to Karnataka journey to unknown those are one of my favorite bus tours they were difficult mostly they are difficult hard because you have to sit in one position for the next in one chair for the next 10 12 hours but they are unforgettable I don't know if you guys can see right there, right there, there are a lot of cows, right there, there are a lot of cows, or even some are right here, so, you know, Argentina produces meat like crazy, so you can tell, that's why they have a lot of cows here, uh, so far, I've not seen mountains, it's it's been flat you know, like flat run flat land all through the journey is from Buenos Aires to Cordoba and I have I have some friends in Cordoba so I met them in Mexico let's see if I'll be able to, to meet them if I meet them I'm gonna show them here okay
still cruising guys I am very lucky to get this seat over here I don't know if that guy is peeping right there but uh, I was super lucky to get this seat it stretches I think more than an acute angle you know acute angle not more than 90 degrees but more than 30 degrees acute angle because when it goes to 90 it's a different type of angle which is the right angle <laughs> you know sometimes people think I didn't go to school but I really went to school I studied actuarial science um, statistics actually actuarial science is statistics plus more you do pure statistics then you add more more courses that's what I did in my university four good years bro and I graduated I have you know now these people want to see pictures I have pictures so even though I'm a youtuber uh, I'm well schooled actually very well schooled and Kenya we have one of the best education systems because you learn everything including what will never help you uh, for example in Argentina these are random facts now there are more people who live in the cities than people who live places like this we call this El Campo you know villages so they don't call them pueblos here they call them campos El Campo so there are more more people who live in the, in the big cities than here and technically Argentina is the second largest country in South America by land but by population is so little it's not even over 50 million you can imagine countries like Colombia which has less less land have more population so yeah lots of corn farming this is how you see homes here I don't know if these are homes or I've not seen any home, I'm just seeing like farms, farms, farms and trucks, farms. I've not seen like a general home with maybe kids playing outside. I haven't seen anything. That's because as I already told you, most of Argentina, people live in the cities. They don't like to live in isolated places. Colombia is purely the opposite. Colombia in the forest or Costa Rica, anywhere in the forest you find... I think Argentina is very unique in that. Like here you just see industries, things like industry. Since we are arriving home, I'm going to a city called Cordoba. Cordoba is the second largest city here in Argentina I think we are arriving because I've seen bomberos bomberos are firefighters shell is everywhere in the world guys everywhere I've ever been there is shell everywhere even Mozambique there is shell my home country Kenya shell here shell United States shell everywhere shell I think they rule the world Here are more Christians. I think we are arriving, guys. This looks like the city. Mm -hmm. And also, I've not seen a lot of tall buildings in Argentina apart from downtown uh, Buenos Aires. So far, as I was cruising ar along this 10 hour trip, I've not seen any tall buildings. I think we are arriving, guys. Let me see. Latin America. South America. This is it, bro. That's how they live. They have this type of houses where you have your door here, another guy has his door here, another guy has his door right there, another one there. And not tall buildings. It's all over South America. If you're watching this video and you've not subscribed to the channel, my question is honestly, honestly, what do you want tomorrow to do for you to subscribe? If you've subscribed, please share the video, like the video, share to five of your friends, let them subscribe. We are heading to 400,000. Uh, it's been a journey, not 400,000, half a million. It's been a journey 
and I want you to help me go there. See, I think we are arriving. Let me check on the maps which town is this. But it looks like a big city. Look how they build houses. See. Very calm. Looks like a weekend. <laughs> and it's not. Mm. So, and also one thing you have to know. Uh, a big flag right there. In Argentina or South America. Parks like this are very common. Very common. So guys, this is how bus stations look like here. It's purely building with this type. I've really learned if I ever if I'm ever in a position to build a bus station in my home, I know what to do. So you see that. So inside there, people arrive from the outside and wait the buses here and the buses stop. I think you can see how it looks like. <coughs> Just a very simple. And countries love their home. You see, they put flags everywhere. Oh, I think we uh, forgot there's a flag over there. So we've not yet arrived yet. This is just a small town close to where we are going. Seems people are closing businesses here. We're still on our way. Just be patient, okay? People don't actually live here. Those are the type of houses you see. Just a small forest and everywhere people just farm 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 i think this district could be number one producer of food i don't know if it's a district it's a province actually wow. super lucky to get these seats see how where others are sitting but i got this this is really amazing bro Guys, I guess we're arriving. Looks like the big city. So, this is, <laughs> we're just arriving. Because of the sun, it's very difficult to film. So, I'll wait. I felt a little tired, man. 10, 11 hours. I didn't sleep last night, but I've been sleeping in this chair like crazy. See buses already here, so yeah, it's gonna be my home for a few days. Whoa, right here, city center. Cordoba. Wow, look at that. I think we're gonna get off, or we're gonna go park. First impression, it's kind of on a slopey area. There's a bag right there. Somebody <laughs> left his bag. Damn, bro. After 10 hours plus, we're finally here. They got the yellow taxis. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Chill vibes over there. It's a government building here, Ministerio Publico. So that's the Ministry of Public Something Facility and Judicial. Okay. Just feeling tired, bro. I was so lucky to get this seat. Give me a little. I could stretch. So this is the second largest city by population and I think uh, by all capacities 
in Argentina. Traveling the world. <coughs> we just arrived. Very good bus, man. Look how they fast class. Huh? Okay. Just like that. We are in a new city. So I need to. I need to throw this guy somewhere. Arrows my food. So whew. actually I need to sit down and, and figure out my Uber to my house. I think that's what I need to do. Number one thing when you arrive in a new country is get a SIM card. A SIM card will help you as much as you can't believe it. So remember as I told you the bus stations in Latin America, the way they look, just like this. So they build a shed and the buses come and just stop over there. I've seen this in Colombia, Panama, all South America, or let's say Latin America. And then inside here, they have shops, so you can buy everything you want or anything food, restaurants, juices. So let me chill. I see where my Uber is heading to. Okay, from here. Whew, man, it's been 10 hours. My bus was that one right there. Very good one. I think I'll use it again. Kochi mix. Kochi mix. Very good. Guys, this is a bus station. Look how it is. So I'm told if I go straight, uh, all these are buses going all over around uh, Argentina. I guess even others uh, go beyond just Argentina. So I'm told if I go so straight, I'll meet a place where I can recharge my phone. I think my internet is over. So I'm just supposed to keep going straight, 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 straight. And uh, I'll get an internet place where I can charge. I see some kind of security officers here. So maybe I'll ask them if things don't go my way. But let me tell you what time is it right now. Uh, okay, it's 5.37. I was, I was told if I keep coming straight i'll get it so let me ask me right here i'll get where people is uh amigo donde es esto pico okay so, oh is that key okay gracias this place i think i'll get i'll get they're gonna charge for me here it's called pico I want to get some internet otherwise i'll have problems i was able to add one giga and i bought i bought some stuff that um i'll be able to i need to eat actually i'm kind of hungry 
Oh man, sometimes when you arrive in a new country, you're so confused. It's not a new country, it's a new place, but I still feel very confused. So, I was able to recharge my phone, but I'll be buying daily because actually the internet here, apart from Wi Fi, the other phone internet is very complicated. You can only have up to five gigabytes and a youtuber like me i consume like i don't know 30 gigabytes a day trust me so i'm supposed to go up and get out of this space so i can be able to pick an uber and i'm seeing here everybody's coming in not leaving but uh let me just go that guy warned me he told me i should be very careful with my phone because they snatch they snatch phones here so let's go this was the bus station i am in cordoba this is the second largest city in argentina so i need to i'm hungry i need to take a shower i need to go home i don't know what to do now my people let me just go and see what to do otherwise it's gonna be critical here let me see This is taxi. I think I need to go that way and catch them. Amigo, how are you? This car is for you. How do you want to go? I want to pay Uber. Uber? Yes. Where do you want to go? In which direction? Oh. You have to change the direction. Yes, but I want to get out of here and buy in the street. Para llamar la V en la calle. Ok, sí. Por esa vereda es la Ilía. Ahí buscamos un lugar inteligente. Ok, gracias. Let me, let me put this one here actually. So he told me right there there is a police officer. If I go through there. On the other side, I'll be able to meet a, a place where I can order an Uber. The thing is, you can't order an Uber right here. They are prohibited. And me being a foreigner, they're going to hit me up. It's, it's not just Argentina. Okay, I see I can go this way. It's not just Argentina. Anywhere in the world, as long as you're a foreigner, you'll be overcharged. Okay, so in that case, the best way to do it is uber uber you never go wrong or other countries they have bolts think of this you just arrived in a new city you don't know anybody you don't even know where you're going but you're just walking that is me every single day in these countries it takes a different type of spirit or heart to do what i do actually and uh, that's why sometimes it uh, hits me bad when people don't understand the work I put. Somebody told me I have to be very careful around this station here. They snatch phones. The guy who was fixing my internet. And also, as I told you, I'll explain this internet thing probably tomorrow. So I need to cross here and go that side and call Uber from there. And again, I'm actually, I'm actually hungry. So let me see what to do. Uh, I guess I need, I could cross. I have to go fast, bro. Okay. So, I'm kind of hungry. I need to get something to eat. Otherwise, this girl, hey, what's up? The girl was telling the boy, look at this guy. Okay, now I'm in town. Man, I need to get something to eat. Let me get uh, some drink here. Taxi, taxi. The guy calling taxi. Amigo. ¿Cómo estás? Let me see if I get. ¿Qué es esto, amigo? Hay cosas de cerdo entero. Panada árabe. Pero hay cerdo? No. Okay, entonces está bien. Eh, dos de esto. Y jugo, sí, 
¿Cuál jugo está aquí o...? Jugo de agua saborizada. Ok, esta está bien. So guys, I wanna get this. I think this will be my dinner and some juice right there. Okay. Eh, cuatro, sí, por favor. Sí. Cuatro de todo. Sí. Let me have four, just in case. I actually don't find a place to Because once I arrive at home... Um, once I arrive home, I just taxi, don't... Uh, ¿Cuál es la mejor, amigo? Ok. Naranja, pera, pomelo uh, Esto... Sí, 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 sí. No sé qué es, pero... Manzana. Manzana. Ok. Necesita dos. Un manzana, un de... Let me take two. Uh, no, sí, sí, esto. Ok. ¿Cuánto cuesta todo? Guys, I'm buying, I'm buying here in a local shop. Uh, so I have to see how much it is. Hay bolso? Okay, 1300 bien. So 1320. Okay. This will be my dinner today. Wow, let me see what's going on. Hey, gracias. Okay, that's finished. So I need, I need to book my Uber right now. That guy was saying taxi man. I wanna promote him, but I can't trust him. You know. Let me see if. If I talk to him, I see how much he's gonna charge me. Let me let me let me see if I can trust this guy saying taxi taxi. Let me see. Amigo, ¿dónde es tu taxi? Taxi. Eh, un minuto, un minuto, un minuto. Este lugar, eh, tú usar el Mita, el Mita Box. Estoy en la calle 12 de octubre. Okay, entonces vamos. Ahí le pido al muchacho y le pido. Uh, I want to try taxis here for the first time and I talked to this guy he says they're gonna use the meter because I told him I want no more price Explica para él Let me see if I can Para la lor Okay let me see if they do they play me that. Hola. Hola amigo, ¿cómo estás? Aquí al tour de 12 de octubre. Okay, eh uh, sí, eh uh, un minuto. Sí. Muestra tu donde es aquí. Ay. So I'm showing him I'm staying. It's Pero, dark. A ver, okay. 12 ingreso de octubre. Sí. 13:35. Ajá. 12 de octubre 13:35. Sí. Ahí termina el viaje. Sí. Vamos. All right, guys, let's go. Wow. It's very dark here, I know you can't see me. No, eh, yo habla mismo. Ah. Es mi camarito. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm speaking to myself. It's uh, I have my small camera. So, guys, let's go home. It's kind of dark now. I just want to go and sleep. Okay. So guys, I'm going home, I'm in a taxi, uh, just first impression of the city, looks like Medellin, Colombia, uh, you know, these Spanish cities look similar, because they were colonized by the same guys, so it looks quite similar.
first time using taxi okay so they gave me actually a very local price and I didn't see any problem with it so I need to find some So I just arrived home. Oh, the bricks. I will give you a house tour. That's what it looks like. The keys. I have my glasses here. That's what it looks like. Oh. Okay. A beautiful lighting here. Can I turn them on actually? Oh, wow. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, right there, and I don't even know where I'm so lost. What is here? It's a different room. Oh, there's a balcony. Okay, can I turn the lights on this side? I don't know how the lights are, but there's a balcony here. You can chill, that's sweet. balcony over there I'll show you tomorrow there's a chair here fan TV it's a beautiful setup small but nice actually I need to take off my shoes my new travel commander shoes they should chill here chill here bro took over from the others and here is the bed okay before we go to the bed we have this here Okay, toilet. Huh. Not bad actually. Not bad. Not bad. Very good setup. I like it actually. Hmm. Right there. We have the AC. The second AC I'm seeing. Yeah, we have the outside. You can see what's good. It's kind of dark. So tomorrow I'll show you what's going on. I don't know what that is, but uh, maybe somebody should tell me in the comment here. Close it. Oh, they have extra everything. Okay. Seems this place maybe gets really cold. When you see things like this, sometimes it's extra. Since you can host more than two people here, I think. If you come three, one could sleep here. I'm feeling tired, guys. I'm so tired. This is my small, nice... Oh, I didn't show you this part. In the kitchen here, apart from the TV, we have all this. Even Wi-Fi, I see it's right here and I'm asking this guy. Okay. So... Yeah. I didn't buy water. How did I just forget? Oh, wow, they have water. <laughs> ah, that's how the universe works. You ask for something and boom. It gives you, my friend. Ask, and it'll, it will be given. It's that simple. You can cook here. I think this is a heater. We have more closets here. You can wash. Is there actually water? Yes, there is water. I need actually to wash my hands because I just arrived from the outside. So, guys, this is the house tour. Let me wash my hands here. I need to wash two of my hands, so I'll have to wait until I finish the video. That's my bedroom. Thank you guys for watching this video. So I think I'll rest tomorrow. I show you more now about the city. How much am I actually paying here? Uh, it's like $27 a night. Yeah, but you know, Airbnb gives you these charges. Like, you know, it's $27 or $22. Oh, I'm so tired guys please give the video a like traveling 10 hours is no joke send me if I send it to you I hope you like the apartment I think okay thank you he sent me a Wi-Fi password so let me check um how much we paid I had tried booking this apartment earlier and I had a problem 
like they didn't accept it immediately but later they came and accepted oh total cost is here 123.35 us dollars how long am i staying hmm for how many days so right there so the days oh, let me just tell you that's 18 today one tomorrow 19 to four days okay four days yes four days so four days for 120 so an average 40 dollars a night that is it actually over 40 dollars like 41 dollars a night yeah so for 41 dollars you know airbnb tricks you it shows you it's uh it shows you it's 20 dollars but they start putting cleaning fee taxes airbnb fee so from 20 jumps to 40 like double that's one thing i don't like about this they have beautiful lights can i turn where hey wow this house has crazy beautiful lights oh oh this should be the outside let me see i don't know i don't know pull this so i'll just okay here yeah, it's the outside let me turn it off so that you guys can see wow it's beautiful lights i put this one in the villa very beautiful for 40 dollars a night technically it's actually 40 no it's 30 30 something dollars actually it's very beautiful all right guys let me chill i want to take a shower eat the it's the food i bought you guys saw the food i bought in the street uh, and tomorrow will be a good day charge my phones and all i need is you baby baby Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.